Hey friends! So today I wanted to take a little bit of time to share this flossing technique with you so you can address some of the tension you might be holding in your shoulder and the side of your neck, okay? So we've done something similar to this before where we went into a lateral tilt in the neck and then we we're moving the shoulder back and forth. You might have remembered this. You can find it on my IGTV still. Go look for it. We're gonna do something different this time around. We're gonna switch the leverage points. So now what's moving is the neck instead of the shoulder. How do we do that? I'll show you. So we're taking this arm, we're reaching away from the body, and you wanna think of taking the top of the shoulder and bringing it down away from your ears. That's scapular depression. That's going to automatically lengthen this little bit right here, which is what we want to access. So make sure you have that scapular depression, the reaching away of the limb, to help lengthen that entire line, okay? So this is only part of the line. To complete it, what we wanna do is think of taking the head, still facing forward, no rotation here. We're going to just tilt over to the side, reach this ear down to the shoulder, and now we should feel a complete line lengthening. If you wanna just kinda of stay in here for a little bit, feel free to do so. The movement pattern that we're gonna practice while maintaining this lengthening is we're gonna take the forehead, bring it forward so that we're in neck flexion and then bring it back so we're in neck extension. Now by doing that, if you already did it with me, you'll feel that the shift, the stretch shifts back and forth depending on if your head is forward or backwards, which is the flossing, okay? So meet me in this position, this lengthened position, scap down, head over to the side, arm reaching away from the body, find that lengthening, and we're going to do five reps together, okay? So meet me here. We're gonna bring the forehead forward for one, and then bring it back for one. Bring it forward for two, bring it back for two. You'll notice this is very touch and go. Bring it forward for three, I'm not staying too long. Bring it back for three. I'm just kind of shifting back and forth because that's exactly what we want to do. Forward for four, back for four. And then last one, bring it forward for five and then bring it back for five. And then from here, we can come back to a neutral position, bring the head back upright, and then we can wiggle this arm a little bit. Shift over to the other side, same thing, five reps, and then I'll let you do your thing, okay? So we're gonna take the shoulder, drop it down, scapular depression so that we can access this little bit here. Take our arm, reach away from our bodies to further lengthen the limb and catch that fascial line. From here to complete everything, you wanna think of taking this ear down towards this shoulder so that we can lengthen all of this. So now we have the complete line, okay? We wanna stay in that line as we move the forehead forward and backwards, right? Flexion, extension, in order to shift back and forth along the scalenes, the levator, all that, all that stuff in, up in there, okay? So we're gonna do five reps together. Find this lengthened position, shoulder down, arm reaching away, neck over to the side, forehead still forward. We're going to bring the forehead forward for one, reach it back for one, reach it forward for two, reach it back for two, reach forward for three reach back for three, reach forward for four, reach back for four, and then last one, reach it forward, reach back for five, and then meet me in a neutral position, boop, and you're all done. So what I like to do is we did five reps on each side, I'll do two more sets on each side just to be thorough, and it's a really nice way to help decompress your neck. 
because you're addressing the lateral tension in the neck and that usually compresses it, right? So once you release that, it feels like your neck is so much longer and you feel a lot lighter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that tip. And if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to share it with anyone who may need it. Okay.